takes a lot to care for a landscape. How do the professionals do it? With me today is Roy Levin with Environmental Pest and Lawn Services to tell me how he practices pest control. Hi, Roy. Hi. How you doing? Doing well. Roy, is there a lot of knowledge needed to, in order to maintain landscapes? Yes, there is. Professionals are well trained in uh, diagnosing landscape insects and diseases as well as soil issues. So when we get into landscape, it's important to know what you're doing. It is important to know what you're doing. Let's take this gardenia, for instance. Are there certain pests that are associated with a plant like a gardenia? Yes, there are. So when we look at this gardenia, for example, we would look for thrips in flowers. Other issues may be pests like uh, scale on the stems and leaves. And sometimes uh, we have uh, nematode issues as well as soil pH issues that we would care for. And so you're basically looking at the whole plant and then you're looking at parts of the plant. So you're taking a really close examination. Yes, we are. Let's go look at the uh, crepe myrtle over here and the Indian hawthorn to see how you would scout for those kind of pe for pests there. Are there certain pests that are associated with, for instance, Indian hawthorn? Yes, this time of year we have a, a big problem with Entomosporium leaf spot, which is a fungal disease uh, with Indian hawthorns. Thrips are another uh, problem, which is an insect. Uh, These plants look great, so they really don't have any problems yet, although there might be a little chili thrip starting there. But, um, so you would examine the, the tops of the plant, the bottom of the plant, but you would know, part of your knowledge is knowing the pests that are associated with that plant. Yes, there is a concept of key plant, key pests, so certain uh, insects and diseases go on certain plants, and so we would definitely focus on that. Okay, and then the crepe myrtle, what kind of problems does crepe myrtle typically get? Crepe myrtles get sooty mold, they get aphids, and uh, people often don't trim them properly. So if you walked up to this plant and it was covered in black, what would that tell you? Uh, that's sooty mold, which is a fungus that grows on the excrement of certain insects. And it's, so it's telling you there's an insect problem. Yes, probably definitely. Probably something that needs to be treated. Yes. Well, let's go look and see what's going on in the front yard. Sounds good. So Roy, a lot of the landscapes have the same kind of plants in them, even commercial and residential, don't they? They do. So for instance, this Ligustrum, does Ligustrum have certain pest problems? They do, they have a lot of pest issues. So for example, as you can see here, uh, these leaves have a Cercospora leaf spot, which is a very common fungal disease. They also get uh, uh, nematodes, uh, thrips, uh, fungus uh, problems, root rots. Uh, but mostly issues. people notice this, and is, is this really a big problem? It is a big problem in landscapes. It makes it very unsightly. It does make it unsightly, and you can see this is probably a highly manicured, and that probably contributes a little bit to it. Yes. Because it can make it show up more if they do that. What about the magnolia over here? Do magnolias get a lot of problems? Uh, from time to time they do. Uh, magnolia is uh, one of the biggest problems is uh, tulip scale. Tulip uh, scale, we yes. We see uh, quite often. And, uh, this, and that's pretty devastating, the tulip. And this, this plant is very healthy, it doesn't have it. But how would you inspect for that scale? Uh, we would look uh, deep into the canopy in the tree and that particular scale is, is quite large. And it's important to actually pick it out, make sure it's alive before making have, a treatment. And there's a lot of sooty mold with that one too. That black stuff is all over yes. it with that. But it also gets another little scale, magnolia white scale. And that's yes. not as devastating. Yeah, it is not. And also uh, algal, algal leaf spot is another uh, disease that people uh, see around. Get alarmed, but this one is very healthy, but you would inspect the whole plant and we try do. to find out. Mm -hmm. So over here we have some hollies. Come over here so you can see them. Uh, the hollies are ilex shillings. Of, um, they, they get certain pest problems too, don't they? Uh, yes, they do. Uh, there is a particular fungal disease that uh, gets on them, uh, a lot of scale issues on hollies and sometimes nematodes. Sometimes nematodes and then uh, the loripedalum has its issues. Yes, loripedalums are known to have copper deficiencies, uh, mites is another issue that they get, also thrips. So really if somebody's hiring a pest control company, it's pretty important for them to, be, to know this, isn't it? To know it, what the pests are? Yes, it's very important that when you hire a pest control company for whatever representative to actually show you the different pests and not just go based on their word. So Roy, I want to thank you for being here today and showing me how a professional scouts for pests in the landscape. Thank you, Celeste. Knowledge is the key and knowledge is the way that a pest control company may be able to help beautify your landscape.